Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the first two weeks of January. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not resonate. Uh, just take what does and leave the rest. What do we have for Sagittarius for the first two weeks of January? This is just going to be an overall energy. Happy New Year. What do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please. Anxiety, but it is reversed. It is reversed. So, the, I think that you guys have been in a stressful situation, right? Obviously, we have somebody here that's been in a stressful situation. They've been uh, maybe depressed, fearful. Um, unsure of what's going to happen next, maybe um, depressed, but, and this is an 18, 18 is a, is, can be a very con conflicting degree, but this is a number, so when you, anyhow, um, I think that you've been in a troublesome situation, and perhaps the next two weeks you will be releasing some of that fear and anxiety and depression, let's hope that's the case. Um, maybe you're, you're gaining some strength or some self-confidence or just starting to feel better these next two weeks. Sagittarius, what do we got? Well, we're going to take that. Ooh, the world reversed. Now, the world reversed, this is a feeling incomplete, could be feeling like, uh, there's unfinished business somewhere. This is a lack of success or something that didn't end successfully. Maybe it ended, but there was no closure or it just didn't end the way that you wanted it to. This is some sort of unfinished business. Eight of Swords, that's exposure, lies being exposed and removing an obstacle. Finally, an obstacle is being removed. Somebody may have been in some sort of uh, well, mental prison, okay, they may have been uh, uh, needing to escape from something, but unable to, but this is the escape coming out of this mental situation that you have been in, this mental trap or confinement, somebody may have been contained in, you know, a space of fear, okay, uh, maybe it was comfortable there, you know, but this is coming out of it. Well, the Hierophant reverse, the Two of Swords reverse, and the Nine of Wands. Now, this is perseverance. This is standing alone. Um, the Nine of Wands is you having your guard up. You probably be uh, fearful, you know, fearful of what's coming next. And that's why there's anxiety here. What's coming next? What's coming next? That's what, that's what I hear. Um, somebody was controlled by an authoritative figure. Could have been a father. Could have been just somebody in authority that uh, is very, very controlling. Um, there's, a, there's somebody that was under a lot of social pressure with the Hierophant reverse. There's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust. There's a lack of spirituality as well. The, you, this could be you or your, whoever you're dealing with. This person has is mentally in some sort of mental um, state of confusion. But this is the obstacle being removed um, right here. This is uh, coming out of denial, lies being exposed, and I saw that with this card. So some sort of exposure, there's some sort of exposure here. Somebody was trying to, this could be an abuse of power with the hero font reversed. Somebody may have been doing the opposite of what they say. Breaking the rules. <laughs> Avoiding. Avoiding the truth. There's something about avoiding the truth, not wanting to hear the truth, not wanting to believe the truth. Now, this is somebody that is very guarded, has their guard up, but fearful of what is going to happen next. 
on the defensive, on the lookout, really worried about, I see the worry here, but coming out of the worry, it's like, hmm, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety here because of control, being under somebody else's control. But, but the two of swords reversed, this is, this is it being exposed, okay? There's been a level of indecision. There's been some sort of postponement here. But this is seeing the truth. And there's a lot of overwhelming fears and worry here. And a feeling of emotional detachment. You probably have your defenses up. You're probably going to have your defenses up because somebody is trying to uh, overpower you in some way. <laughs> Definitely something is going to be exposed with the moon reversed. Okay? There's some sort of deception or betrayal that is that is coming to light. And it's going to change things. It's going to break you free, okay? You're going to be broken free from something. <coughs> Ooh, temperance. So this is regaining balance. You're going to be regaining balance, coming back to yourself. I think there's been some ex there's been some highs and lows. You may have been on some roller coaster ride that somebody made you get on, but I feel like you're going to be right in your element. Maybe, maybe you're going to be, um, this is a time of healing. It's a time of regaining your balance. It's a time of cooperation and co compromise. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is your energy. So this is being right where you need to be, but it's mirroring that world reverse. The world reversed is is a uh, closure it's something ending but not the way that you had hoped there's definitely been a betrayal but you're in charge right you may have just went through something that taught you a lesson okay it it there's a there's a feeling of evolving you're evolving you're changing you're 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 changing who you were you're changing who you are coming out of this stressful period you definitely are going to be coming out of this it's like you have the power in your hands we're going to leave that right there cuz that's where it landed page of pen a new opportunity a new doorway is opening up the page of pentacles this is this is you know you have it you have you can you get to choose where you go next it's it's as though uh you're regaining your focus and you're starting over and now you're choosing which direction you're going to go you're in charge it feels like this is a week where you're putting yourself back in charge and you're leaving behind i feel like you're leaving behind an unsuccessful situation where you were trapped by another person could be could be three people there could be a third party three people here a third party situation could be three people that were against you could be three women doesn't have to be the the three of cups reverse is gossiping enemies disguised as friends lack of emotional growth this is parting ways you're parting ways with somebody that you were once committed to because it's like you know you're no longer on the same page with these people or this person there's 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 fear and disgrace here being disgraced whether you're you know There's some sort of termination here. Termination of a friendship, termination of a relationship. It's like seeing clearly now that this isn't happiness. There's no chance of reunion. There's no chance of reuniting. You can't trust these people or this person, whoever it is. Whoever it is.
Wait, there's somebody here that really has a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. There's, that is the truth. And it's like you're seeing that too. You are definitely seeing that. I think you're going through some sort of spiritual renewal. You are? You are. You're going through some sort of spiritual renewal. It's like you're getting your your self back after being betrayed, after being lied to, after being in a deceptive situation. Somebody's getting caught. I mean, with the moon reversed. Maybe you just wake up or something like that. But this page of pentacles is a new opportunity that is being presented to you and you get to choose which what, what you're going to do next. This is starting over. You are starting over. taking charge of your life, leaving behind. Now, some of you may have been dealing with some addictions and you're focusing on releasing those addictions. There's no success if you, you know, holding on to those. Somebody may be moving home. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, or they have moved home, and they're they're accepting because we have acceptance here, accepting that this change was needed because it's not stable, it's not solid, it's not there's not a, no abundance there, that it's not comfortable anymore. So there could be a change in the home front, or a change at, in your job, a change in some sort of establishment. Establishment. This is a change in something that is no longer stable. It's over. This could be the end of a legacy. Okay, one phase of your life that you have been probably reluctant to let go of is is over by the looks of things. Something to do with the family here and perhaps the father. There's definitely other people involved that are causing problems. They've been lying. There's lies here. There is absolutely some lies. A lot of them. And that's why you're like, what is going to happen next? So that's why there's probably, there's been some fear. Fear of what's going to happen next. And your guard is probably up. But justice. Justice. You're going to get some sort of justice. Something is going to turn out in your favor. You're going to get, this is good. This is good. Okay. So this is, uh... All is fair. All is fair. This is regaining balance. You're going to get, you are definitely going to be regaining your balance in the next two weeks. And you're going to be receiving some sort of justice for being put in some sort of unfair situation where you were being trapped by another person and controlled by another person or people. You could be dealing with a Libra. Just saying. But this is the law perhaps stepping in doesn't have to be. There could be some legal matters here, but this is doing the right thing, acting with integrity. Somebody is, is getting their karma. There is a lack of emotional growth with whoever this other person is that was so controlling. I really see it. But you are going to be receiving some sort of justice that is going to bring you some sort of balance. It's going to bring balance back to your soul. This is also finality. This is a final decision. Whatever is happening, it's, it's the right thing and it's final. Okay, it's over. It's finally over. That's what I'm hearing. What is going to happen? The Hermit, a time of introspection, a time of healing. This next two weeks, you are going to be regaining your balance. And you're probably going to be doing it by yourself. Okay? I feel you guys, and maybe you're going to be meditating. You're going to be um, work, going through some sort of spiritual renewal, spiritual enlightenment. And you're going to you're gonna be... Uh, coming up with a, a plan for the next, you know, what is it, era, your future. I see you guys really planning, uh, planning your next uh, move, you know. I feel like uh, 
this is a time of closure. Even though you probably aren't getting the closure that you hoped for, you're going to be getting it on your own, in your own way. Okay, so I feel like this is really a spiritual time for you where you're regaining balance, um, leaving behind something that really hurt you and betrayed you. And it's almost like it scared you. It made you fearful. But this is like regaining peace alone. It's like taking the time out to to heal time to withdraw i think you're going to be withdrawing with other, from others and you know working on yourself alone time realizing your own identity so i see you guys uh taking a new opportunity okay and choosing a new path it's like you get this new opportunity and you and you take it and you're choosing a whole new life path. It's a it's time of evolution. And you're breaking free from a controlling individual that, you know, really had a lot of power over you. Or individuals, okay? Because this three of cups reversed is, is it could be, you know, three people. A lot of competitiveness here. You, somebody may have been competing and using you as, you know, their tool. But I see you regaining your power this week and getting what you deserve. Getting the balance that you deserve. There could be, if you're going to court, something could come out in your favor. Okay? There's something that is being ruled in your favor, whether it's from above or it's from, you know, some sort of legal issue that you are involved in. This decision is going to turn out in your favor, okay? Um, I see spiritual renewal, uh, Sagittarius. I see healing, a lot of healing, because you're this is you're getting the you're getting something that you truly deserve. It's your time. It's your time. It's time for you to heal. Something to do with 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 the past, with the six of cups. There could be, you know, healing from the past. Maybe there's some sort of reconnection with somebody that you grew up with. All right. With the Six of Cups. Um, there's memories of the past. There's memories. There's nostalgia. Could have something to do with children. Reuniting with somebody from your childhood. This is Return to Innocence. So anyhow, I feel like the next two weeks, you are going to be seeing the truth of a situation and accepting that it's time for change, receiving some sort of, uh, it looks like good karma or justice that you truly deserve. Um, it's a time of healing. It's a time of spiritual renewal. It's letting go of wh whoever this person or they or they they could be going to jail okay somebody could be going to jail now this is finally uh, or wherever they're going they could even be going to rehab somebody is going to be going somewhere that gives you the freedom that you truly deserve whatever that means it's going to help you to release these anxieties and these fears you can finally let your guard down and it doesn't have to be jail. This is an obstacle that is being removed that has kept you stuck. It has kept you bound. It, oh, I don't even need the devil. It's kept you trapped in a mental state of fear. But this is going to bring you ease. Okay? So be prepared for some sort of uh, ease to come back to your life as, you know, whoever has been holding you down, whoever has been you know, using you or whatever, it feels like it's over. That their their party, their their party is over. Good luck.